Okay, this is the final calculations for the steel necessary to contain the five gauss line on the HFO. Um, difficult because it's such a short room at I believe you said the joists are at 10 foot 2 inches. That doesn't leave us much room to do anything uh, with the walls and such. <coughs> so, anyway, we've got steel on the exterior wall here, steel on the interior wall, steel on the back wall. here and steel on the ceiling to keep it from going into the neighbor's uh, area which it definitely would <coughs> without doing that um, it's contained uh, it does come into the equipment room you can see back here I'm assuming they can control access into the equipment room so that should be okay um, there's a tiny bit of leakage right here, but that's only like four inches or so, maybe six inches max. And that's the from the bottom of the joist, which I'm assuming the joist is at least six inches before you get to the neighbor. So that's really okay. And the reason that's there is there's a gap between the back wall steel and the ceiling steel. Here, let me show you. took the back wall off. You can see the back steel there and you can see there's a gap. That's because, I mean, you can't really, I don't think we can put this, a, a wall all the way up to the joists. So I put this wall at 10 feet. The joists are 10 foot two inches. So there's a two inch gap, which allows a little bit of leakage here. But it's, like I said, it's not much, four to six inches. And you've got the joists above that. So you're probably fine. Uh, the rest is contained so that's where where we're at uh, I'll get this over to Corey and he can figure out what that's gonna cost <laughs>